children come here, there's a real sense of joy in learning, and that's because children are allowed to follow their ideas, and we build on their sense of wonder, and their world starts to open up. How fortunate for Karine Seeds to have a campus on which a lab school could be built. And so she worked together with the architects to design a school that physically represented the sense of community, vitality, and the synergy for learning through the environment. Ms. Korean Seeds really understood the idea of bringing nature into the classroom and the classroom as part of nature and incorporating that. And I see the importance and how that changes how children feel when they walk into a classroom. You know, having that ability to walk out of our classrooms and you know, have what's around us be a part of our learning environment is, is a treat. UCLA Lab School is part of the Graduate School of Education and Information Studies, and what's so unique about us is that we're a laboratory. We have the freedom to explore ideas and to build upon the foundation that has existed over the last 135 years, so that's a huge responsibility and it is also a great honor, and I think most people don't necessarily know that, but we were part of the Normal School, which started in 1882. That whole legacy of trying to think about what it is to educate a growing city in 1882 is the same responsibility that we carry today. The strong sense of community, the strong sense of understanding the children, really knowing the kids, having them feel safe here, to take risks, to be able to have a voice, I think that that is something that never goes away at our school. It's powerful. That's kind of the, the key to my love of this job, is that seeing that unlocking of the gifts that these children bring every single day, because in turn, that inspires me to always unlock my gifts. So our teachers also become ignited in terms of connecting with other educators and sharing their best practices. And that's exactly what we ask our kids to do. How are you sharing what you do and what you know, what you're thinking? How are you sharing that with the community or with your parents or with us? And we do the same thing here, so it's fun. It's inspiring. The school culture that we create is one that is built on values. And those are the values of a very, very diverse community. We have a diverse world. And so this is why the learning here is so important and so relevant to share with schools everywhere, not just in Los Angeles, but beyond. Our founding principles really come from John Dewey, who said that learning is nothing if it's not hands-on, that it has to happen in a democratic learning environment, that it is not separate from uh, the society. It is the society. We are recreating on our campus the kind of society that we want to see in the outside world. You must have hands-on experiences in order for children to really learn. Um, in addition to having the hands-on experience, you have to give children time to reflect on what's happening. During one of the sewing projects, in the beginning they were having a hard time. We sat down, we really slowly and de deliberately went through all the steps and then when we were reflecting at the end, one student was, was saying, you know, at the beginning I really thought that I wasn't very good at this and I felt like um, I was ready to give up, but um, after today I learned that, you know, if you're struggling with something that you should really persist with it, that you should really stick with it because at the end you're really going to end up doing something amazing. And she said, uh, you know, I never thought I was really, that I was going to be good at sewing and now I feel like I'm really getting better every time. So that I think was really inspiring to me. There's always been a respect for children. There's always been um, a belief in children's ability to learn. We don't see children as empty vessels who come here to be filled. They bring things to us. They bring their passions, they bring their interests, they bring their curiosity. They're very capable, and I think there has always been a belief in that. At the end of the Upper Two program, they conduct student-led conferences, and they speak to their parents and their teachers about their accomplishments, about their emerging identities, and about the places that they need support that are still challenging for them. 
um, and the ability to know themselves well, to know how to ask for the help that they need. I think that's the greatest gift that they can come away with. I think their strongest thing is their sense of identity. They know who they are, so even though they may be going to an unfamiliar environment, they feel confident about who they are as a person and who they are as a student. So regardless of where they end up, they know they're going to be successful. We talk about the fact that we truly want to teach to a whole child. We aren't just interested in teaching academics. Obviously, we want our children to be skilled when they leave here, and I believe they are but we also want them to have emotional skills and be able to relate to people and we want them to feel like they can lead and offer their ideas and that belief in children has been here since the day I started and it's here today. The relationship that they have with adults, they see them as co-constructor of knowledge, relationship with their environment, their emotional environment, their physical environment, their natural environment, and also just relationship with peers and social relationships. Those have been at the essence of this place. And so I believe that her vision is very much alive today. That collaboration is how children learn from one another. UCLA Lab School is a special place because of its mission in research and outreach. I believe that this kind of education that children are receiving today is important for all children today and tomorrow.